This problem is number 20 from the 2002 AMC8. I like this problem because it is a problem you can solve somewhat intuitively, but it also illustrates some very important geometry facts. Uh, the intuitive way to do it is to recognize this statement um, here, the altitude XC. And if something's an altitude, that means it meets the line at a right angle. And so XC and YZ meet at a right angle. Um, which means that you have this uh, right angle there. And it's pretty uh, intuitive to think that this is a right angle as well. And then if we drop an altitude from A, we get a rectangle. Uh, having a rectangle is very nice because now if I draw in, an alti draw in a diagonal, I've got these two triangles, and I'm going to add a point W here, AWC and APC. Um, that are congruent to each other, which is really easy to see in a rectangle. And then, if you notice, um, it's pretty it looks pretty intuitive that this length is the same as that length, and so it's pretty easy to see, since this is the same, that these two uh, triangles are the same. And then it's also, for the same reason, pretty easy to see that this triangle is the same as that triangle. And what we end up doing is cutting this left half of the triangle into four congruent triangles, three of them being the shaded region. And it's not hard to imagine that the other side is the exact same thing. And so you end up with um, eight total triangles, three of which are shaded. So three-eighths of the triangle is shaded. So three-eighths times eight is three, which is the correct answer. So that's kind of the intuitive way you could go about doing it. But then there's also um, some important geometric concepts. Uh, the first one is if A and B our midpoints, then uh, when they are connected, it's called a mid-segment of a triangle. And the mid-segment theorem tells us that a, the mid-segment of a triangle is parallel to the opposite side. So we know that AB is parallel to YZ, which means if this is a right angle because it's an altitude, so is this, which is why the, our intuition was correct that when we created that rectangle. It also says that half of the side it's parallel, that AB is half the side it's parallel to. So that means this length right here is exactly half of the length YZ. And since it's a midpoint, for the same reason, um, this must be, this W must be a midpoint of AWB, and so we're able to see that this length is exactly half of YZ. Um, because of that, we can now realize since this is half, this right here is half of this for the same reason. Uh, the altitude is cut in half there. It's really easy to see why all of our intuition was correct. Um, it's easy to see that these two are the same. And then you can see that um, this piece right here is exactly the same as this piece. So if you fit it over here, and then put this piece over here, you would have a long rectangle that's got um, square inches eight, and this shaded part, because of what we talked about with the triangles, does exactly turn out to be three-eighths of the larger triangle. But the mid-segment theorem is an important one for you to know, and again, it is when you connect up the midpoints of the si two sides of a triangle, they're parallel to the opposite side, and exactly half the length of that other side, YZ.